Hey guys, Brady here with your daily tennis lesson, talking today about the down the line forehand for an approach shot. Okay, we're on a little bit of a theme this week for, for hitting down the line. And it brings us to this, to this forehand approach shot um, that I think has a couple really good benefits. The first being that when I approach down the line off my forehand, I, I want to think in terms of my movement. I'm always trying to you know, think one, two shots ahead of the shot I'm currently hitting. Okay, and obviously after an approach shot, hopefully you guys are getting yourselves going towards the net. So the bonus here of hitting a down the line approach shot into that corner is that my movement following up that shot should always follow the tennis ball, should always follow the path of the ball. So if my ball ends up in the corner where Mark is, the bonus for us is that my movement is straight ahead here, okay? And not that I want us feeling lazy on the tennis court, but I think you guys will find that it's a really nice feeling to hit down the line and move straight ahead versus the, the cross court approach shot where I'd maybe hit it from here and if I've got to follow the path of my ball, I've got a lot more court to cover to get over here to be able to cover the, the high percentage shots from my opponent over there. So one, it saves us a little bit of time and a little bit of distance on our movement. Secondly, uh, you know, it's just pretty, pretty common that there's more right-handed tennis players playing out there than left-handers. All right, and I'm under the assumption that the backhand side of most players, while they might be comfortable with it, they're not as strong with the backhand as they are with the forehand. So a high percentage of the time that I'm taking my forehand approach down the line, a right-handed player is hitting their backhand back to me as I approach the net. And I think I, I just normally prefer to have my first volley come off of Mark's backhand instead of having to deal with his forehand. Okay, so let's take a look at some of these. Mark feeds the approach. I'll show you guys probably one volley after each approach shot. But take a look. See, see kind of my positions and my movement getting in off this ball. And, and notice how kind of effortless the positions seem to be. Here we go. All right, so that worked out really, really well. I didn't feel too taxed in terms of getting in. Mark's backhand, while it was steady, didn't do any damage to my first volley. Here we go, let's see it again. Another really good one. I, I actually got that ball a little farther out to the corner, make, made Mark stretch even more, so now he's not hitting a topspin two-hander. He's hitting a floated slice, which gives me the chance to get in and attack even more, okay? okay let's take a look at one more. Mark, go ahead and give a, a bigger swing at this one. And all that's gonna change, you guys, for this one is I'll pro my split step will have, have to happen a little bit sooner because I'll be a little farther back. You know, but it's okay to deal with pace. So let's let's take a look at one more, Mark. Oh. All right, and there's the big difference. I'm still in this half of the court. I was just a little farther away from the net, but three plays right there where approaching that forehand down the line makes me really comfortable about the next one or two shots not just the shot I'm on, all right? So, go out, give that a try. I hope that was helpful for you guys. Please click like below this video, and if you guys happen to be watching on YouTube, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks, and we'll see you guys soon.